I've also got a hole buster which hopefully I'm going to get into later and give it a full test. that much. Saturday and the Hulk Buster is going away because a giant Atat's coming here tomorrow for Star Wars Day and I'll be back with some Star Wars droids including BB-8. Right, it's Sunday morning, today is Star Wars Day so we've got a giant Atat and we've got the R2-D2 builders. 
I've got my gonk droid here and there's various other droids. <laughs> got my BB-8 which I'm going to attempt to demo and as usual the video of it working so I don't have to demo it every five minutes. <laughs> p.m. on Sunday so we all have to pack up and go home in about an hour starting to wind down quite a bit all right that's the end I really enjoyed the time at DEFCON. DEFCON is a charity event which in fact all proceeds support Click Sergeant, which is a children's cancer charity so it's a really good one to support and I was really glad I could get Hulkbuster down there to test it it was also nearby me. It was actually quite an effort to transport Hulkbuster. But there we are. So you'll notice I'm standing in the end of the room where Hulkbuster isn't anymore. And it's significantly more echoey down here now. So that's not the end of Hulkbuster though. I'm not actively working on it anymore. But it actually has a new home to go to. So check out my channel for the future to see what happens. And I'm not going to tell you where it's gone yet. But there's lots of other projects in my channel. Including the real Ultron. Which is an actual real robot torso which moves around and is going to be driven partially by its own AI as well as motion capture. I've also got the real exosuit working Iron Man exosuit arm I've actually started building. Check out last Friday's video for that. 
It can lift a considerable load and will eventually be four axis driven by a special joystick and I'll be able to move it all around and lift heavy weights. So that's the sort of future for the channel really is building proper robotics and stuff with proper technology. I may well go and put some nice shells on it and make it look like Iron Man in the end, but obviously there's some core technology behind it. I've also got my walking, working gonk droid, which is a Star Wars power droid which can walk along and that's under development at the moment. So hopefully when that's done and this is sorted, I can go on to build a human-sized walking robotic character. I haven't decided what that's going to be yet. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates on all of these projects. And also check out my Patreon campaign at patreon.com xrobots, where you can get access to some exclusive rewards, including all my videos early. All right, that's all for now.